Very nice, Lucky, very nice. I'm sure you're very and amused with yourself at this point. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Bison. Bison has been very impressive as of late. He was at a very special invitation only workout in front of WWE talent scout Tom Pritchard last night. Look at him. He looks to be in incredible shape. That's my son. Well, you are just. Uh, oh, you set him up for a knock him down. You're hitting him out of the park, let me tell you. Well, the fourth man hasn't made his way to the ring yet, and Bison and Jack Bull are double teaming the massive ruckus. Double shoulder block. And here comes the fourth man in this equation, Horseshoe. Horseshoe has wrestled quite a few dark matches lately for the WWE. They've got an eye on him. Very interested in Horseshoe, and he would like nothing more than to pick up a big victory here. I mean, look at the absolute mass, the humanity that's in the ring here, Lucky. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. I hope the ring holds up. I hope Martin Marine and his ring crew did a little uh, extra reinforcing to this ring earlier on in the day for this one. You gotta feel, you gotta feel bad for Ruckus, because because you got a bull, a horse, and a bison all in there, and then then you got the janitor. Well, he is an animal in his own right, and now takes down Horseshoe. Now, that, that just goes to show you there are no alliances in this match. You know, Shoe ran out and basically got Bison and Jack Bull off of Ruckus to start this match, and Ruckus was getting double teamed, but now Ruckus turning the tables and attacking Horseshoe. Horseshoe felt bad for Ruckus. A lot of people do. <laughs> this matchup is very much every man for himself, and look at this power by Ruckus. Picking up Horseshoe and slamming him right in the center of the mat. Yeah, I guarantee you won't see nothing off the top rope in this one. Don't be so sure. As big as these guys are, they are incredible athletes. I tell you what, if one person goes off the top rope, I will dance a jig. I'm going to hold you to that. Go ahead. Once intermission comes, I'll be up to Boy. dancing the jig. Like you earlier, I might start getting up and cheering for one of these guys to do it. I'd love to see that. Tag is made. Now let's run down the rules here a little bit. This is a four-corner monster mash matchup. People can tag in and out to anybody. Only two guys will be in the ring at one time. The first man to score a pinfall or submission will be the victor. Yeah, this we got to see how long those rules hold up. Because I don't think Rick Knox is much up for stopping these guys if they don't want to be stopped. Yeah, I would not want to get in the way of any of these absolute behemoths. Jack Bull with a su succession of elbow drops there. Oh, he's amazing. He's faster than a speeding bullet. Chalk up another one. Maybe we should just have a little counter at the bottom of the screen, a tally going of every time you something lame comes out of your mouth. Oh, awful DDT. He might have a recussion. Ding! But not making the cover. What the hell is up with that? Bison, I think, wants to make a tag here. Oh, and he got tagged oh. all right. I don't think that's the type of tag that Bison was looking for, Lucky. I wouldn't want to be tagged that way. Of course, chances you get me in a ring with Ruckus is slim to none. Oh, hey, here we go. Come on, are you going to be a man of your word? I will, but not during the match. I don't want to take away from the match. Bison is now my new favorite wrestler. Here's the cover. Two, unable to get the three count. Who to thunk it? That was that was amazing. Did my eyes deceive me, or did Bison just come off the top rope there? Bison just came off the top rope. I, I have nothing. So when exactly can we expect you to make good on your promise, Lucky? Whenever there's a break, I'll run in that ring and dance a jig. Sounds good to me. Well, again, that's just proof positive right there. I'm, I'm telling you how impressed WWE officials are with Bison, and he's showing us why. Yeah, I'm not liking Bison too much anymore. I'm rooting for the Bull here. The Bison versus the Bull. What an incredible matchup that is in its own right. 
big knee in the corner. Now Jack Bull, it's been a while since we've seen him in a UPW ring. He's been finding success over in the land of the rising sun. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Tag team with uh, Scott Norton, I believe. Boy, these two are trading forearms. Oh! Bull's not impressed. And Bison just spat. These guys are going at it. And Bison and Jack Bull are absolutely locking horns here. No pun intended. Two men circling. Horseshoe. Horseshoe tags in. Tagging out Jack Bull and tagging himself in. And now he's delivering some stiff forearm strikes of his own. He's trying to prove right now that there is absolutely no business like shoe business. Double underhook, possibly looking for the butterfly suplex here. Oh! And Horseshoe would like nothing more than to start out the new year, shoe 1003 that is, with a big victory. I think I'm catching up. Yes you are, yes you are. Horseshoe, the monster out of Phoenix, Arizona. Hitting the ropes in a big forearm there. In comes Jack Bull to break up the pin. Again, the first man to score a pinfall will be the winner. He's gonna be a tough one. Jack Bull now returning the favor and tagging himself in. It's like every time you think someone's got the advantage, you tag out and another monster comes in. And now again, we've got Jack Bull and Bison going at it. And these two seem to have a beef. <laughs> again, you know, no pun intended. You know what, I think the biggest monster in this match is Rick Knox, because he's the one controlling all four of them. So far, he's doing a very admirable job in this thing, you keeping see, the peace. You see him pushing horseshoe out the ring? That's impressive. Now, how about this? We're seeing an actual wrestling hold here. He may have learned this in the Orient. Jack Bull going for the cross arm breaker. He sinks it in. Bison desperately reaching Bison for the ropes, but he ropes. can he get there? And he does. Referee Rick Knox will have to break the hold here. Jack Bull breaks there right on the four count. I don't know if the arms are part of the body I'd be targeting with the guy the size of Bison. Bear hug here. Sidewalk slam. And again, Horseshoe coming in for the cover. Presence of mind there by, by the big shoe. Rick Knox keeping control. Very impressed. Good referee. Oh, so far, some stupendous action here in this matchup. And now tagging. Ruckus back in now. Ruckus has spent a lot of time on the ring apron as of late. He's a fresh man back in this matchup. Fighting his time, fighting his time. Well, this guy can really lay in the chops. Just ask the drunk Irishman. Oh, and the big boot. Kicked him in the face. Thank you for that lucky nut. Bison really seems to be in trouble here. He rolled right over onto his stomach. So to avoid a pinfall. So that was a nice move of instinct there, but Ruckus is all over him, like stink on you know what. And he grabbed the ropes, so Something gonna... Ruckus knows oh. a lot about. Clothesline disposes oh, Bison out to the outside. Right and it looks like looks like Jack Bull's gonna pick up the pieces here. He's unbelievable. This is scary. They're right over here by our broadcast position. Yeah, be as nice as you can to these guys. Well, I'm gonna be mindful of what I say when these monsters Get it close over here. No matter who you're cheering for, Ruckus has the claw. Wait a minute. He's got him throttled here. Bison climbing back in. He could be going for his finisher. That claw into a power bomb. And if it, he does, if he hits it, this is going to be a very rucked up night for one Bison. Good one. Oh! He hits it. This could be over. Jack Bull comes in for the save. Again, it's gonna be very hard to get a pinfall here because you always got two guys on the outside that if they don't come in and make the save and break up the pinfall, they're gonna lose this thing. So of course they're gonna get in there. Somehow you gotta dispose of those two on the outside as well. And I don't know how that's gonna be done. Well, if, if Ruckus can get Colossal Slam all three of them, he can win. Well, now they got rid of one man. And now Horseshoe on the outside. Now these two need to take advantage. If either one of these guys, Ruckus or Bison, could get a pin. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, what goes around comes around. Here's a receipt. Oh! Rucked up on the other end. Don't tell me he's gonna beat him with his own move, and he does. That was Here that is was your great. winner, Bison. Bison. Oh, 
stealing a page out of the book of Ruckus. And Bison stands as the king of the mountain here. He stands alone as the number one giant in UPW. What a physical matchup that was, much as we expected it to be. Will you stop? 